welcome to part two of Wolf Among Us, Smoke and Mirrors. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to skip the opening credits. Says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, the end credits are it better. Is, it's between you and Beast. About fucking I'm staying out of it. It's not what the you Walking Dead might season be one. Thinking. Can't skip the end credits. Have you seen my wife? Shit. It's insane. Have you seen Beauty? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so that Come door shut on your face. So there's some guy that likes chopping chicks. Don't head interrupt off me, Miss Snow. You, know, you asked door. me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. Yeah, <gasps> he said if word of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the. Uh... They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. Come sniffing around this part of town. The rich fucks in the woods need to shake the hand. Ain't that right, big baby? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. And then they cut to a picture of her dead head being chopped off. Telltale Games presents... In association with Vertigo from DC Entertainment. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. You're a rogue cop, Look, Big B. We I know had to take your you badge. Going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. Shit is happening. Are you okay? You don't look so good. De Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. Fuck is going on, man? We have to go now. 
What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. And the video camera that's right there, we're not gonna, you know, remove it or anything? Seriously, the video camera right there. The video camera. The, oh, Jesus, really? Bunch of fucking amateurs. ROQ 105. Voice of the people. found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. If I knew I was involved in the murder, I'd just throw him down the witch well. Called investigation, Crane. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. I'm thinking that Bluebeard has been one full up this night case. and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now. Snow. I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. It happens. When you're the dreams in the city of the never sleeps. Did know. she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Man, that's super dickish. This guy gives me a lift from the police. Station and I break his window. The woodland luxury apartment. That's not a very good answer, basement. Afternoon. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Pirate. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. 
I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do. But I can't tell you what I don't know. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Big B, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. You immediately list a bunch of shit that's all of consequence. Giant pile of money. Come on, Big B. We bought. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Yeah. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. He's being too nice to him. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. It couldn't hurt, I guess. Get him talking about the whiskey. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? Oh, yeah. She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Are you sure I can't offer you a fine cigar? Just... I'm saving that. Here. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look. You're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought the 
This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. And not getting any answers from him. Really, your shit. We're so deep on this. Dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. You wanna roll, dog? They're gonna be calling you Red Bull shortly, because you're gonna be bleeding from the throat. What the shit? What's going on down here? Snow. Makes you wonder if Faith's actually dead too, huh? The good news is, I might still be able to hit that. This is the only reason Wolf is playing this game. Why sure Big Bad Wolf, he's in it for the tail. Someone's been leaving artisanal, locally sourced heads chopped off for the place. B and Dumb's employer is actually Faith. She's never dead. The whole time she's actually still alive, and she hires D and Dumb ask questions about her so everyone thinks she's dead. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Yeah. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or... At least to figure out who she is. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. <laughs> I just want to get to the bottom yeah. of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Or well, you're the glamoured one. I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Well, that hurt. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. 
TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. Myself. Right. I don't know if she's acting that differently. She's referencing events that happened before her death, so... Man, that is a TJ's gigantic over there. Excalibur. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. <clears throat> Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. That's appropriate. But she just stabbed me through the heart. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? It's about Sebastian. The seaweed is always green. I hope you can find what you're looking for. Somebody else is like... And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. You think about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Snow's perfume. Play a little, uh... Let's go look at that body. This so, talking check bodies. out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I'm feeling pretty wolfy. Welcome to the Witching Well. to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. This direct like move away from the table uh, and look at it from the different marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. 
Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She was tied up? There were cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Cinder blocks? Wow. So she would sink. Oh. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh, shit. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. Or tax money, of course. We should keep going. Wearing silk lingerie snow? Uh, uh, Why do you want to know? Uh, Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. Uh, yeah. They're not. <laughs> well, this guy's no Tice. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions? On how to be you. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. Though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at, just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Drugs. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. A 
Dear. What does that mean? Oh. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. So is her name Snow Rose or Rose White? Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Really, dude? Racist. Do you want to talk to TJ first? Yeah, I do. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. We'll fill you in later. Good, good. You showed up for literally that thing, and then you leave. Awesome. Oh, Miss Snow, I have a question. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, apparently I gotta end the stream a little early here, guys. Like, a lot early. Um...